Hey guys, it's Tashira. And you wanted to know, do your Bath & Body Works candles actually expire? Let me explain. So typically, you should burn your candles in between 6 and 12 months. However, the shelf life of the candles is actually about three years. That doesn't mean like it's gonna disintegrate or anything like that after three years. But what's gonna happen is the candles scent and color is gonna start to just decline over time. So it's gonna start to look lighter and lighter in color if it has a color because a lot of them are like the cream or the white type of wax. It's gonna start looking possibly a little weird. And when you do burn it, the smell won't be as strong. That's why sometimes people are like, there's no throw, I can't smell anything. It may have been sitting too long, especially if you buy a Bath & Body Works candle that is put on sale for like $6. Sometimes these candles are super old and they're trying to get them out the door, but it's the very last minute. I've definitely had this happen for me. Keep in mind that those older candles are not gonna give you the same luxurious experience as you would have when you're buying them fresh, they're new, and you burn them right away. Now I do have a pretty extensive candle collection. It's not like crazy crazy. I have maybe like 30, 40 candles. Are some of them probably a little bit older? Do I probably need to burn some? Yes. And you're probably wondering why they kind of expire. Remember, Bath & Body Works candles have essential oils in them. So over time, those essential oils are gonna start to break down. They're kinda gonna go a little bit bad because essential oils, you know, they go bad. They can go rancid. So if they're in the candle, think about what's happening within the candle. Now to make your candles last a little bit longer and not burn down so fast, you gotta trim your wicks. Are you trimming your wicks when you get your candle? I hope so. I hope you're not just getting out there and burning it. Typically you wanna trim the wicks down to about one fourth of an inch or maybe like just trim it in half. When you don't trim your wicks, you're gonna notice that your candle burns down super fast. You're gonna wonder what happened? Why did this candle burn down in like a week? It's because you didn't trim the wick. A bigger wick means a bigger flame. So your candle's just gonna burn all the way down, like super fast. And it's probably gonna be smoking and stuff. Scary. Now, if you buy a lot of candles and you've experienced buying the single wick versus the three wick, surprisingly, the three wick does burn down faster. That's because it has more wicks. It may not seem like it, but it actually does burn down faster. To be safe, don't burn your candle more than four hours at a time. Also, if it's a new candle, don't turn it on for 30 minutes and then blow it out. No. The wax is not gonna pull well. It's just not, it's not gonna burn well after that. You have to let it evenly pull when you first burn it, or it's gonna be very uneven and very weird when it burns. It's just, mm -mm. Typically overall, your candle should last about 30 hours all together. Most of the candles have about 25 to 45 hours of burn time, but it just depends on the candle and how well you're taking care of it. And don't forget when you put your candle out, use a lid or a candle snuffer to extinguish the flame. Don't just blow it out. Don't go causing fires and making your candle look all burnt and ugly because it's going to be smoking. It's going to start stinking in your house. Mm. But anyway, the moral of the story is your candles are going to expire they're going to like not be as good anymore. So don't let them just sit on the shelves for like 10 years and then decide you wanna burn it. It's not gonna smell nice. So live your life, burn your candles, experience the good smells. So I thank you guys so much for watching and I love you lots. See you in the next video. Mwah.